Hello everyone, it's Karen at the Cool Tool Studio. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to use the Genesis model controller on the Paragon Kiln. So I'm going to start out by selecting Menu, and I'm going to be setting up this kiln to kind of um, have some preloaded programs and to be ready to work um, best for me. Uh, so we're going to start off by um, scrolling using the green dial on the right hand side here down to 6 for customization. So here it kind of depends on what you're going to be using this kiln for. There's ceramic menu and glass menus, and you can turn those either on or off by enabling or disabling those menus. Then there's user library, and I'm going to select that. And then you have the option, like, are you going to be using your kiln for a variety of purposes, um, to be heat treating, or for working with precious metal clay? I'm going to be selecting precious metal clay, and I'm going to save that. It's going to say it's going to be overriding the programs. That's okay. All right, so then I've set up my kiln um, kind of to say that I'm going to be working with PMC and I don't need to have the glass or ceramic menus on. So I'm going to hit back at this point. And then while we're here, um, another thing that we can be looking into is configuration. And if you're planning on programming um, any of your own personal firings or a firing schedule um, that is outside the preloaded uh, precious metal clay um, firings, then you want to go to novice mode and turn it off. If you have it on, um, you're not going to be able to go in and alter any of the programs. So we want novice mode off. While you're at it, um, temperature. At this point, you can change your kiln. Are you wanting to be operating in Fahrenheit or Celsius? So now we're going to go home and we're going to go to load. Um, load is kind of going to let you select a program to bring it back up to um, the front. You can edit it at this point or start it. So load, I'm going to select custom. And since I selected precious metal Chloe, it already has some loaded um, uh, firings that are commonly used. Um, so you could either just select one of those and be good to go. Uh, if you're looking for the breakdown of what those firing schedules are, it is in the operation manual. For my purposes today, um, I've already programmed uh, an FS99 and a slow burnout because those didn't come with it. But let's say um, I want to work with some EZ960. There's some blank, there's a good number of blank users that you can program and save for future use. So let's go user 15. It's loading, so it's bringing that system up for you to be able to edit it. So at this point, custom user 15. I would like to edit this program. Um, this refers to how many segments are going to be in this firing. For EZ960, I just want one. But if you wanted more, you can tap on it and either insert segment, add segment. And then if you have one and you don't want it there, you can select it and then delete as well. Um, this is the rate or uh, what we might consider the ramp, um, the acceleration and the temperature increase. So 999 is full ramp. Um, if you wanted a slower ramp, you could edit that. And to do so, you would just tap on it and then use the numbers here to enter that. Since I'm good with full ramp, I'm going to leave it at that. Temperature, um, how hot do you want it to get? I want to fire my EZ960 to 1675. So I'm just going to enter 1675 and then save. And then hold. How long do you want the kiln to maintain the temperature of 1675? I would like it to do two hours. So I'm going to do two and then zero, zero. Anything to the left here is hours. Um, to the right is minutes. So that is a two hour hold. Save. And then one of my favorite um, aspects of this new um, interface is that you can name these, um, which is really nice. So I, um, you can scroll through and there's even symbols and stuff. This one's going to be easy. 960. Save. So then I went in and edited that. So now it tells me easy 960. That's when I'm going to be firing. So at this point, you would have the option to either start your firing or you can go in and load and edit um, and repeat that process to build yourself an entire library of your typical firings. 
Um, but once you've got your happy little library, everybody's good to go, and you're ready to start a firing, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the Easy 960 I just did. There it says, Easy 960, so we're ready to go. Um, you're gonna hit the start, and you have options. You can either start now, start later, do a delay. Um, I'm gonna start it now, start now, and then start code. Um, these kilns are pre-programmed just to have start code of one. Um, you can go in and edit that if you want to set your own start code, um, but I'm just gonna, since I haven't changed the manufacturer setting, it's just one, and then start. So at this point, my kiln is running, it's firing. Um, you do have the option to go in and adjust, but since I just set um, this programming, I know it's good to go for my purposes. For whatever reason you need to stop the firing, there's that option as well, and you're good to go.